What's up, Mountain Tuffers? Coach Bigham here. I got Weston and I got Dustin here. We're fixing to get an opportunity to really take a dive at the ruck. There's a lot of things that goes on when it comes to loading and unloading your backpack. It, if you allow yourself to gen generate any kind of rotational force with the trunk that's not stable, that's your highest risk for injury. So we want to prevent that. So the first thing I want you to look at is you're out there by yourself okay, in the back country, and you want to take your heavy pack that's loaded out anywhere between 80 and 120 pounds, and how do you put it on safely? Okay, so what we like to use is a simple deadlift technique. Our deadlift really allows us to have a stable footing and the ability to do it. What we like to do is, I'm going to have Dustin go ahead and post that first foot up real tight, center mass on the rucksack itself. So now he's in a position where he can actually brace, hip hinge, and come down and secure the weight. Now, if it's tall like this, and your center strap is a little too high, you might have to come down below. But what I like you to do is to take your dominant hand. So Dustin's right-handed, so we're gonna take the right strap and make it a little tighter. Left strap is gonna be as loose as it'll go. So when he hips this up, lifts it up on that quad, he can really get that right arm through and really have it at a high position you're gonna be able to see. Go ahead, Dustin, let's go ahead and get that loaded up. As you see, he squats down, he's gonna brace. From there, he's gonna lift straight up, right onto the quad. Now he's got a good position to really punch that right arm through. Once he stabilizes, gets the load on there, and then he can go ahead and hip, uh, hip thrust it up onto his back. Being that this strap is loose on the left side, he now can get that arm in free and give him the ability to get it comfortable and go ahead and set conditions for his hip and his sternum strap. These are key. Remember, your biggest risk on loading and unloading a backpack that's heavy is the rotation without having stability in that movement. So that's what you want to really utilize when you're coming off the ground and you're by yourself loading a pack. Now let's go ahead and not talk about the unload. When we talk about the unload, we're obviously going to disconnect our hip strap and our sternum strap. From there, since he's right-handed dominant, he's going to go ahead and come out of the left side first. Nice and easy, gonna step outside of that. It's gonna allow it to rotate from there. He's gonna do the same process rear. Go right to that quad to control it, and then he can go ahead and set it down under control, not having a significant amount of rotational force that's unnecessary on the body. Because if you recall, when we do a lot of lunges in the back country for our training, We've got to have core stability, and we've got to have balance and control with that forward leg. Great job, Dustin. Now we're going to talk about loading our rucksack, maybe out in the terrain. Maybe we're on a rock. we got a rock available. We've got a log available. Or if we're right here on getting ready to get on the trail, we need to use the equipment that we have available. What we got right here coming off the tailgate, we can use this to prevent having to pick this heavy object up off the ground. Go ahead, Dustin, I want you to move over there and to show us how we want to mount this up. So when you go ahead and mount this up, we're going to always still mount our dominant side first. Dominant side is going to go ahead and set the conditions. From there, while we have the weight suspended on the back of the truck, we're going to go ahead and make sure we're set up properly to have it in our high position so that when we step off, we can go ahead and set the conditions for that load. So as you can see, you minimize any kind of risk when you have an object that allows it to get up to at least hip height, as you see for Dustin. Obviously for me, I'm a little shorter. It would put me in a, out, a little bit outside of my position, but it would still be a lot safer than me taking it off the ground. Really simple. Same process for loading and unloading. Utilizing the terrain that we have available and the resources we have available to minimize that risk when we're loading and unloading our ruck. Great job, Dustin. We're now going to talk about utilizing our rucksack when we have a, a person that's going to be out in the back country with us hunting. When we work together as buddies, we can allow ourselves to minimize that risk. So what I'm going to have is Weston move up here to the side to get ready from a center mount position. He's going to squat down. He's going to find him some good handles that he needs to get a hold to. We're still going to have Dustin come in and get ready on that dominant side so that he can be prepared as Weston squats down and lifts this up. Brace the core. We're still braced over here. He's still generating torque down through the ground, and we're going to help offset that load as he lifts it up to put it up on his back. 
While he's mounting that on, what we like for him to do is to help offset that load on the bottom because the big key when we're putting a ruck on is we need the right height and tensile strength up at the top. When you take that weight off the bottom, Dustin can really cinch that in properly, get the sternum height right, and then offset that weight with his hip belt. So again, if you got somebody out in the back country that you're hunting with, you need to go ahead and utilize that partner safely, utilize that leg drive, utilize the things that you've learned in the lab so that it sets the conditions for you out here in the, in the back country. Great job, fellas.